the gallery at San Antonio Central Library has been transformed into a book garden, a home to oversized southwestern lizards, busts of Renaissance men, Zen rocks, and other sculptures, all created by Taiwanese-born artist Long Bin Chen. As the exhibit opened, we talked to Long Bin Chen about how his work has evolved and what ideas and materials are under the surface of these carvings. The lizards were made especially for this installation, but the other pieces go back as much as 20 years and have appeared in very different exhibits, from Los Angeles to Charleston, South Carolina, Atlanta, Rome, and Hong Kong. Long Bin Chen's sculptures are much, much more than first meets the eye. Most time, from the front part, most people we think this uh, wood carving or marble or mm -hmm. stone carving. Then turn around, then they will find some some image or uh, some some part can show how what kind of book of this material come from. So the so, inspiration for the shape comes from the book. Yeah, yeah. So and. The old object, all the sculpture, sometimes we relate to the title of the book and we involve with another issue. The, the shape was not, not only meaning from the, the form and the meaning of figure and also relate to the inside, inside of the book, of the book. Long Bin Chen said he was influenced by Marshall McLuhan who authored the pioneering and influential theory that the medium is the message in a book published in 1964, the year Long Bin Chen was born. McLuhan wrote that the characteristics of the medium have more of an effect on society than the content it carries. Looking at his own work, Long Bin Chen said, the medium transforms the subject and becomes the message. So in beginning, I use a lot of phone book because at the one phone book they will contain about thousand thousand name company and people's uh, telephone number it means a small sculpture can contain a small society and it's a big big very su uh, surprise for me and for people that uh, one sculpture they will become a small society inside uh, you can find some small stone I was carving 20 years ago. Yeah, like this one. This one was made from the phone book. So because phone book was from the recycling paper, so the quality is not so good and then very easy to turn yellow. But it's already 20 years ago, you still can see the texture. Oh, the, uh, I, I believe this is uh, a white page. And then the color turn, become to brown, turn to the yellow. Yeah. And let's think about like, uh, some uh, small stone and inside have a thousand, thousand telephone number inside, one small a uh, small society inside. So, so the exciting to me. <laughs> For many years, I was finding the material on the street because in New York, it's very easy to find a book. And almost every week, they have a two day for people to, to throw away recycling paper. And then I we collect the paper from the street and also the phone book that we update every year two times even sometimes three times so it's during the uh, change of recycling day is that uh, I can pick up so many new phone book so almost the material was free for me then later I find out uh, I can travel in because every city also have a recycling system. So I doing a lot of residency in a different city, different country, because the machine is the same. I can find the same machine, same, uh, set up my studio workshop very easy. So 
uh, since uh, I think since 2000, I begin to a lot of residency from from New New York to LA to uh, Atlanta and then to Roma to India to uh, to Hong Kong because people was exciting this uh, new uh, new way to uh, to co uh, to carving book become our work. And I developed this kind of technique, and a lot of people were exciting. So some gallery owner or some art institution director, they were interesting and invited me to go to do a residency and find a local material, turn to the art, art show. So I I almost doing a residency uh, more than ten years. In, from the city to the city, from different country, yeah. So tell me about the technique. You said you could use telephone books. You said um, you used other kinds of books. So you put them together, and then you cover them. Yeah. And uh, in beginning, uh, I was making small one, small head, and look like a folk art. And actually, inside of the book is no no anything, so it still can open. But look like a stone carving, but actually it was soft because my owl it can open, open like uh, similar like open a book. So every page was separate. Then then later become uh, because I need to make a big uh, big sculpture or big object. Then I put. School, nail. Now I put some some coating. So from the soft sculpture, turn to the hard, uh, and then turn to from from single object, single sculpture become installation. And so Long Bin Chen's work evolved, from soft sculptures that open like books to larger objects held together by screws and nails with a coating, a hard stone-like carvable surface. Lung Vin Chen's work went from a single piece of art to a collection arranged in an installation, like the book garden he created in the gallery of the San Antonio Central Library.